headed to uh, Dreamhack Masters uh, Marseille's in a few days time now and I think that not all our fans are gonna be like expecting us to do super well but I do think that we can have a good showing despite only having like a week or two with Pujan as our uh, caller so we're putting a lot of time in, in scrims and obviously all our, our online results lately have been pretty good so I'm confident that we can make it out of groups and maybe make like a top four run here um, just hoping we do well we still have a lot of work to do with our new roster, but I feel like things are starting to shape together faster than we expected. And uh, I think we're happy with our progress so far. The line should be good. First line with the, the new lineup. FNS brings a lot of structure to the team, so we'll see how we, how we do, see how we pan out for first lane. So my name is FNS, and my real name is Pooja and Meta, and I just recently joined Cloud9. Before this, I was on Complexity for about a three month span and then I was bought out by Cloud9 and I'm happy to be here. The players I'm playing with on Cloud9 right now, um, some of them I've played with in the past on teams, so that's really cool. And now I'm playing with new players with Tyler and Will as well, so yeah. Plumber with a katana as his axe. Dude, tilted towers. So today for practice, we scrimmed Astralis on three different maps. Uh, went super easy. We like 16 of them in all three games. Uh, no, what, what actually happened, John? What do you think? Uh, we lost all three. <laughs> but I mean, uh, a lot of our problems were on CT side, not on T side as much. So we fixed that up as soon as the games ended. Everyone's playing Fortnite now, which is obviously the more important game to play when you have a tournament coming up for Counter Strike. So I'm really happy that everybody's on, on, on <laughs> in the process of you know improving in Fortnite. Out of what? Sorry. I'm saying what? We got destroyed in our scrims, and now I'm trying to cool off with some ninja, my boy. You're playing boy. some Fortnite. Yeah, he's my boy. Yeah, we go way back. You know that? No, he's gonna, he'll find out soon when we duo. Dude, guys worry, guys. Okay, he's gonna carry me the same way he carried Drake. <laughs> if he can carry Drake, he can carry me. Nope. No, no offense to Drake. <laughs> Drake, if you're watching, I'm down to duo. So, the way the bracket works, if we win right now, we are done for the day, then we play tomorrow. If we lose, we play again today. And if we lose twice, we're out. If we win and then lose, we wait for two more days and then we play. Pretty sure that's how it goes. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Where are we? Marseille. Marseille in France, beautiful city. And I'm uh, looking forward to it. We're playing against our ex-teammate, me and Will, Oscar. And uh, I think it's going to be a good match, so hopefully we come out with the win. Of course. Taking the tournament. That's a given. We should be going live with the game, ladies and gentlemen. Map number two, or game number two here. Hack Masters, it's Mirage with G2 and Cloud9. Turn this around, that would be a bit of a miracle. Cloud9 without any rounds on the board. There's Rush with one more, FNS to close it out. That's such a great round for Rush. Far, far above, and Rush spots him out. He clears it all. Late smoke is going to allow him to get the angle and right through it. And there goes FNS as well. Enough damage with it here. He's got the Zeus out instead and looking to get a little bit closer. And there it is, Mixwell gone. AK picked up. Get one more chance, Kenny, but he jumps right into it. Tarek with a huge double kill. NVK does go down very quickly. Rush with the Famas making it work. Another round for Kyle Pan. Fighting down Tarek. How has he done that? Now it's a one versus one. He's going to try and see if he gets smoke over. Automatic. He's already got the lineup. He knows exactly where the bomb is. Mixwell right on it. Grenade on through. The spray is on the wrong side, but. Cloud9 going to win the round. Automatic does it right at the end. That got way too close. We got one kill with the AWP. He's got a grenade in hand. That could be dangerous. And MBK shutting him down. FNS now doing the best. And he gets a double. That's such a big double kill. Three seconds. They can't even put the bomb down. Cloud9 
That's a massive round to be winning. He'll be blocked off at any moment, though. NBK gonna go try and find this kill, but Skidoodle not showing himself too badly, and Rush still holding on the floor at the stairs. It's a five on three, make that four, but all the trades coming in the favor of Cloud9, and Tarek and Skidoodle to end it. A long, drawn-out battle, and they had to come back in the first half, but finally, 22 to 20. Nine, take it. We were making a comeback at that point. We were down 10-5. We were brought back to 10-10. But I think we still eventually stayed into it. We were down like 15-12. Came back, obviously, to that. Made a 15-15. Then we went lost in the next two rounds, 18-15. We came back from that as well. So it's pretty insane that we stayed in it the whole time. It was a rough game for both sides, I think. Me personally. But we took it in the OT. We were down 18-15. Brought it back. And we took the game. 22-20, I think. One of them. So, what part has uh, Skadoodle played in Cloud Nine's success recently? Uh, I think Tyler does a really good job in being the support player that we need in terms of assisting everyone with flashes or you know making sure that uh, everyone knows what they're doing. Sometimes um, when he doesn't need to support for us, he can open up rounds and go around the map and be explosive. Hopefully soon. <laughs> <laughs> Soon. It didn't happen at all on Mirage. So. Nice. Well, I definitely turned it off, but I don't know. I minimized and turned it off. Because I hear my Dude, Dorts. Ugly little fucking virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Dude, we have to put that in the video. Okay. I'm gonna lower my mic. Dude, we have to put that in the video. That's wild. This ugly fucking hey, yeah, little bird. Liquid, liquid, liquid. It's not gonna be a star player, right? It's gonna be an in-game leader. So he's learning from Kerrigan in that oh, regard. Green. Now Molotov will definitely force Skadoodle out, and he's gonna get the kill regardless. Goes down to the flames, but what a way to end it. The map. Everyone's here at B, and automatic just taking off heads. That is brilliant. Nico gonna go for more. He's gonna find a rush as well, but automatic two players lined up and the transfer it's over, but it's fully man. mental from Tarek. <laughs> no, but nobody does this. Well, Tarek, Tarek does. Could be rushing the other side of this. He can hold it down. There's one, there's two, and he's holding them back. That's two dinks, and this is gonna be the end. Rush. We said he didn't have the greatest game, but he has a heroic performance when it's needed. He started to get very sketchy, but he closed it out. 16-13. Off. If he doesn't hit the shot almost immediately, I don't think he's going to be able to do it. They'll get the grenade in and then he's just going to be blocked out. Smoke is already up once. Oh my god, what a flick coming out! Skadoodle looking for just a bit more. He's going to come he's in now. It's a one versus one. Bomb down and he doesn't know where Exist is at all. Looking up and there it is. This time he's going to get it, Skadoodle. Last time he was almost at it. Force him back. Oh, Tarek actually, that's a great flank. What is going on? This would have been basically a rush, and now FNS off angle. They line up for him. They can't get through the window quick enough. Big double kill. Goes for the third and gets it. That's the bomb down. Now in a lot of trouble. The spray is coming in. Fire at his feet, and he's going to be burning. He has to move out a little bit, but it's not in time. Rush still picks up the kill. Ava woke in the beast, and Nico's looking for it. He wants the overtime, and he's not going to get it. Rush will close it out. Unbelievable finish to this best of three. Rush taking him down 16-14 in favor of Cloud9. Yeah, I mean, uh, FaZe doesn't have their active roster with Olaf, but I still think that winning this match was really big for us in terms of our confidence on land because this is our first event that we're attending with Finesse, and it's important for us to come off to a good start. And with this win, I think anything's possible moving on in the fuck tournament. Cut that one on camera. That's not good. I'm gonna cut that one out. <laughs> David, we gotta get you on the board. Let's. <laughs> oh. Today we're gonna just we're just chilling right now. We're at the pier. We're waiting for media day. I think it's like in two hours or something like that. So just got food. Just went to the gym. Got food. Now we're here. Gonna relax a little bit and then probably do media day and after that we have a couple scrims lined up and then we play our matches tomorrow so yeah support us oh shit shot shot <laughs> uh, we pasta? Water right there pasta we had pasta like about eight times yelling i'm yelling he doesn't answer he doesn't respond to what he says <laughs> max max you should probably need an extra uh oh <laughs> what's the kill oh yeah that's a shower so yeah i'm not showering I'm sorry. For sure. Bro, it's media. We actually have no time. Now I think about it. Yeah. We gotta go back. We have to sit down to eat. <laughs> we, we have, have to, to We literally walked here to get food. We gotta go back. We have to leave now. All right, good walk. It was fun. We're just trying to hop on a boat. There's a car accident. You wanna walk towards them? Did you get this? <laughs> the same Uber? Imagine. No. Are you stuck on Rue Cotillery? Rue Cotillery? 
Sorry, sure, let me get the seat, bitch. What? Give me some seat time. <laughs> Ooh, that's oh, there's nice. 10,000 seats over here. What's my seat? Yeah, but it's the only seat that's like not on the table. Oh, thing. That's like their thing. Yeah. You guys want to all do push ups and then. Oh, we do after. Push ups and then we give high fives to each other, and the guy in the middle just goes like this. <laughs> that would be really nice. Make it a competition. Mm. No, 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 we have to all chest do like, we have to all do chest days tomorrow. Terry, chest days tomorrow. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. That's the worst part. They're probably only going to air if you do like food. I don't burn myself alive, man. Yeah, we don't have to make it. It's not going to be Did you ever play soccer? Never in my life. I did that in sixth grade. Well, I play kickball. Yeah, same thing. Exact same thing. Is that real? <laughs> yeah, tricep implant. It's pretty real. And over to the That's great. Jesus. Oh, that's amazing. And that's this shit, dude. Keep it up. You're sick, dude. Holy shit. What is this? What is this? Abs? Did you do abs today, bro? Hey guys, Valens here. We are playing Gambit today. Quarterfinals for DreamHack Marseille 2018. The vetoes went the way we expected. We chose Mirage. They chose Train. Or passes the decider. Thanks for the support, guys. We hope to see you out there in Marseille. See you soon. <laughs> yeah, we could call it that. Map one going live now. Welcome to the second quarterfinal. A lot of losses because of it. Group up, stay as a pack, even on the CT side. Be the aggressors, shut them down. One versus two, and this would be for the map if he could do it. Grenade land on his feet, forcing him into Tarek's open cross here. And oh my god, what a shot from FNS. He's got so much pressure looking up, he finds one more. Oh, FNS. Taking down Adren, jumping on Rush's face, and he's going to drop them. That's overtime, 15 15. Just trying. Oh, 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 oh my god. Just look at Tarek, he's just looking for him. He, he, just, he may have just done it again, foiled Gambit. His teammate's gone down, he's got to win this. There's the kill, but Hobbit swings back out. That's map one complete in the favor of Gambit. If Gambit win, Cloud9 is eliminated, and they're headed to the semifinals. This guy, he actually cannot escape from that shot. So. <laughs> I don't think most get out of that position. And Tarek looking for more. That's a quad kill. Last three of them, beautiful headshots. To no where to look, even with these weapons, it's going to go all, all the wrong way for them. FNS left in a one versus two bomb. So planet. far, just one kill on the bomb train, and he's holding off for FNS to rotate in. Oh my god, FNS is going to be going down, and now to do the one versus three. Gambit, one kill away. And Cloud9 are going home. Admittedly, with very little time to practice, expectations were managed for Cloud9. But versus Gambit, the curveball of the quarterfinals, they continue. Gambit in the semis now, and I have to introduce. Look at this guy right here. He has a wipe, around, wipe around my back. I'm a glass. Oh, Go ask for the spread. How do I get it? Spread it. Spread it. Actually, I want to ask him. <laughs> Alright, there's some more in here. I think it's pretty low budget. Alright, so how is next? Right? And not have some. Mm -hmm. Alright, last day Marseille's Marseille? Marseille's? Marseille. 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 And we're here at the beach. Five of us. We're missing a few people unfortunately. Tim and Soam, low daddy, low teamwork. They're at the gym. So yeah, just us five right now. And Tim and Soam. I'm about to burn really hard. Tim and Soam, if you're watching this, you suck. <laughs> That's all you got? But yeah. I'm gonna burn if I don't get the sound. Alright, so. go on some. There might be a dab in here. Jim Tan Laundry. You know the run. Getting a little tan, looking at little boobies. <laughs> you, you know how it is. Tan. I'm gonna get burnt though. I'm gonna get burnt. I'm gonna get burnt. <laughs> you mother. Dude, I'm actually like gonna die. And this is only 30 SPF. This is doing nothing for me actually. You know, it's, like, it's like a coat of nothing. You're fine, dude. You're overreacting. You saw me in Cancun. You saw me. Seriously, you're fine. Did you see me or not? I saw you. You saw me. You saw me? You were not burnt. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm on duty. I think we should have won Mirage versus Gambit and uh, even won the series if we had won Mirage, but it's alright though. I mean, we're gonna get better hopefully, so the future looks bright. Um, with the new IGL change, it's a little bit tougher to get into the groove with these lands, so I'm not too disappointed with the results that we had here. But uh, with a bit more practice, we will be a bit more concrete with our structure, and things will be looking up uh, for sure. So. Yeah, I mean, 
I think we all expected to beat Gambit, and the bracket we had kind of made a final run, which definitely sucks, but we beat FaZe in D2, so you can't really be upset with that, with uh, having only two weeks with John, so, or Finesse, so I'm happy with the results, but I wish we would have beat Gambit, for sure. But we, we got a uh, upcoming lands, so and we got a lot of time to practice, so looking forward to it. It's hard to say. It's not necessarily like an evolution kind of thing. It's it's kind of just I play for the team. I always like play to win. Like if I need to do something, I'll do it for the team. I don't care if I have to go in first. I will. If I go in last, you know, I go in last. I just they tell me what to do. I'll do it. You know. Um, and if I'm feeling it, you know, I'm feeling it. I'll make some plays. Like it's whatever that day is. You know, CS:GO is very um, it can be very different every other day. You never know if your team's gonna show up or not. So it's very. Very different, so yeah. Skadoodle is our daddy 